Hello, good morning, uh, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Yu Fang Hong. I'm from ZD Corporation. Today, I'm very happy to be here to present the ZD Common IT solution, which is driven by your core cloud engine. As you may already know that in 5G, we have three main scenarios, which is EMBB, URLC, and MMTC. EMBB will provide the 10 gigabit network bandwidth, and URLC will provide the one, uh, guarantee one millisecond uh, latency. And MMTC will provide one million connections uh, per square kilometers. So uh, MEC is an important part to support these key features, uh, which, especially for the URLC, without MEC, it's not possible to provide one, million, uh, one, one millisecond uh, latency. And also, for EMBB, we will need MEC to optimize the network uh, tra traffic flow, which can reduce the uh, backhaul traffic load. And also, MEC will accelerate the service innovation by providing a lot of uh, rich capabilities of the network and the IT capabilities. So, but still, we have challenges with MEC. Firstly, we have to uh, think about how to introduce a lot of third-party applications. These kind of, this third-party applica applications may need different running environments, like bare metal, virtual machine, and containers. Also, some of the applications will need uh, hardware acceleration to, to reduce the latency caused by the computing, computing process. So this, uh, like, uh, like the AR, VR, uh, uh, we, uh, for the, for the network, network trans transmission, for the network uh, forwarding, and the graphic video processing. Also, certainly, uh, how to deploy MEC easily, and how to deploy MEC application easily. In the in the place of the uh, uh, in the place of the uh, of the network edge, which has very limited uh, resource like power um, uh, space and uh, personnel skills. So, in the following slide, I'm going to show you how the uh, com edge solution fulfills these uh, challenges. Firstly, in this slide, I'm going to show you the uh, overview of the ZT com edge solution. Generally, we have four layers. One layer is the uh, uh, infrastructure layer, which is the hardware uh, composed by the different kind of servers. Uh, either it's a co co commercial of the shelf server or it's a specific server. With, the stand, uh, with as in defined, low, low latency network equipment. On top of that the infrastructure layer, we have virtualization layer, which, which, the, uh, which is lightweight OpenStack, uh, in combining with uh, uh, Kubernetes, we can provide the bare metal of a uh, virtual machine and the containers, and the virtual machine in uh, containers in virtual machine. On top of that platform, on top of the virtualization virtualization layer, we have platform layer. In this this layer provides different capabilities. On right on the left part, we have uh, TUF gateway and UPF, which provides a local, local traffic breakout functionality, which reduce, which is used to reduce the network, tra network latency. On the right part, we have a network capability uh, platform, which provides both CT capabilities and IT capability, like the radio, radio network information services, like location-based services, and TCP optimization. This belongs to the CT domain. But also, we have the capabilities like video, video optimization and uh, different uh, LPP management capability. Also, we have um, lightweight edge model and APB, APVM to allow the uh, simplified uh, APB deployment. And on top of the platform layer, we have application layer. Here we have different kind of applications made from uh, different vendors. So, uh, in a summary, we have uh, uh, focusing on the 4C, which is a connection which is provided by the UPF and different gateways. Also, cloud by the uh, by the OpenStack and the Kubernetes, a computer compute which 
uh, which has different computing resource or different hardware acceleration uh, capability. And uh, capability belongs to IT and CT domain. Then let's see how ZT uh, provides a dual cloud, cloud engine to enable the flexi flexible resource scheduling. Here, normally, we, when we talk about uh, uh, virtual machine containers, we, we think about OpenStack and Kubernetes. Normally, we have OpenStack and uh, Kubernetes separately with two separate resource pool. But here, we, we work on the uh, solution is a converged OpenStack and the Kubernetes. Here, we, we share a lot of components, like a Keystone, like, the, uh, like Sender and uh, Neutron. So that, so that we can create a mixed cloud. It's a one cloud. This cloud can provide different kind of resources. With, if, if you provide OpenStack and Kubernetes separately, which means it's two, it's two cloud. The hardware cannot be shared. The network has to be interconnected. It's not the one and the one network. And certainly, on the, on the hardware layer, this, this uh, OpenStack and the Kubernetes can share uh, a computer and a different uh, storage, like the uh, safe storage and the disk race. Then we have uh, uh, researched a lot to the acceleration, hardware acceleration. Uh, we, 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 have, we have invested a lot of human resources in the cyborg. Also, we have collaborated uh, with Inter and uh, Melox to work on the hardware acceleration from uh, the smart card. And also we work together with uh, NVIDIA uh, to support the GPU acceleration. Also ZD, uh, as, as, as far as the hardware is concerned, we have our own hardware, hardware acceleration card. Like we have two different, two different kind of hardware acceleration card, which is uh, we call SmartNIC. One is to support the GPU offload, which is specifically used by the gateway and the UPF. Also, we have, uh, we have a, a standalone card which supports the OBS offload, which can support the standard application to improve the network capability and reduce the time delay uh, for, the co uh, for the computing uh, part. Then for uh, the MEC deployment and application de deployment, we have two different ways. For MEC, especially for the far edge, we, we would like to re recommend to have an all-in-one machine, which, which can be delivered by an express company, and you can just plug and play. And this, this, this MEC can automatically reduce in, in the configuration server, which is located in the network, call network. And, and then the configuration server will distribute the configuration file, and automatically the MEC will start the configuration, and then this, this MEC will work. On the other hand, for application deployment, we have two different ways. One is uh, we use the simplified NFVO, because NFVO is a standard component. Which is, in, uh, which is in the NFV architecture. With this simplified NFVO, you can easily use, uh, use our application and, uh, to generate, uh, we will provide a tool to generate the NFD file so that you can easily import uh, the IT application, uh, IT application and deploy it by the NFVO, but also we provide IT way to introduce the applications which is provided by, we call it application management, which is our product tech director. So that you can, with this component, you can subscribe the resource from the cloud, which is like public cloud. You can subscribe to the cloud, and you can upload your application image. And you can start the deploy, deploy so you can select, select which location you would like to deploy, and then you can start the deployment. So this is the, nearly full automatic. So here, I, I, I would like to make a small advertisement. So with ZT, 
And uh, VI, we have more than 500 applications in the global market. And also we have more than 60 uh, collaboration, collaboration uh, in 5G domain. Also we have more than 50 MEC applications, applications in the market. Then I would like to sh uh, show you some uh, case study. This is the wh what we have done with France Telecom in uh, Spain. And we have, uh, we have started the project uh, at, by the end of 2018, and uh, we have uh, uh, tried the VONR, which is uh, voice over NR, and uh, we, by the end of, uh, by, by, by the end of, Ju uh, uh, of the June, we have, fin we have uh, successfully uh, pr pr make a demo uh, of holographic video call. Uh, here you can see that uh, with, with, uh, with this, uh, holographic call, you can see a person which is standing in front of you and like a real person, but it's fake. Right, the, the, right, the left part, the left person is a fake, fake, fake man. And also we have a, a big project work together with China Mobile, which is in Guangzhou branch. And we have, uh, as you know, that uh, China Mobile is a very big operators. Here we have uh, four different, uh, four MEC which has been deployed in four different locations. The access room, access room, the aggregate room, and a call aggregate and a call room. We have deployed uh, together with our partner for different kind of applications, which like the, uh, here in access room, we have Honda Park. We work together with Honda Park, uh, Honda, and we, we try the V2X the application, and uh, we, together with uh, uh, the iMac and uh, the network slicing function, we provide the low latency capability. And uh, on the aggregated room, we work together with Tencent. We provide the uh, uh, high definition uh, the content, uh, CDN, and cloud gaming. And also, we uh, have worked with hand tele hand with video broadcasting, like uh, live TV services. And in Jiangmen call, call, call room, we have uh, uh, we have worked with Aspire. We have provided the facial facial recognition uh, uh, function. This is the first first MEC deployment with dual call, which is the uh, uh, Kubernetes and OpenStack dual engine and hardware acceleration with ZT, uh, OVS, and uh, GDP acceleration card. This is the latest reward we got from the global uh, industry. The first one is the 5G excellence, which we just received from, uh, uh, from 2019 SDN World Con Congress in, in Netherlands. And uh, uh, great, great, greatest commercial potential for the edge computing concept award in the 2019 Edge Computing Congress in London. Okay, here is a summary for your takeaway. In general, ZD Common Edge solution provides three main features which I present today. The powerful core engine, which is we, br we, br we brought uh, the OpenStack features into the Kubernetes so that they can share different components and provide unified cloud. And we can provide bare metal virtual machine and containers simultaneously. Also, we can support the heterogeneous acceleration provided by ZT acceleration card hardware or third party, hardware, uh, third party uh, hardware. And also, Remember that MEC in the far edge has to be easy to deploy and for the application, it has to, has, has to be easy to, uh, to deploy and also we need a centralized management in, the, in a central location. We, we, have, we cannot have the skilled people in, in the far edge. Okay, this is all my presentation. Any questions? Thank you.